Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites from the month of August. Now, I am so sad that summer is coming to an end. Um, the only cherry on top, the only consolation I have is that in a week I will be in Florida with my girlfriends. Um, I met with them back in April. We all flew out to California and did wine country and I haven't seen them since then. Um, and I can't wait until we're all together. We'll be celebrating Jessica's 30th birthday and we have a lot planned for her, so I'm super excited um, just to get all the girls together again and, um, you know, live it up. So, at least I have that to look forward to, right? Um, the first thing I will definitely be taking down to Florida with me, it is the Bamboo Anti-Humidity Hairspray. Um, I'm not saying this is a miracle worker, but it definitely keeps my hair from getting all frizzy when it's really humid outside. Um, it's the best thing I've ever tried, but it doesn't do a perfect job. You know what I mean? So I don't think I will be without one of these cans um, for quite a while because I really like it. The next thing is a sunscreen that I've been wearing all year. It's the Coats Face Matte Sunscreen. It has a tint to it. It's got broad spectrum 40. I've talked about it before, but this is something that I've been wearing every single day. And the great part about it, it really is matte, um, which I find to be very unique. Now, if I get something on my skin that's too drying, what will happen is I will get a wrinkle right here in between my eyebrows. And with this product, I don't get that. So not only does it keep my oil at bay, but it keeps me from getting um, that wrinkle. So yeah, definitely a winner here. I love this thing and I got it off Amazon. The next thing is another skincare product. It's from Dr. Brandt. It's their Microderm Abrasion Skin Exfoliant. It has the tiniest little crystals in it um, that you know you just rub on your skin and it gets rid of all the dead skin cells and just makes my face feel brighter and more refreshed. And I love doing this right before I put on my self-tanner at night. And I think it does a great job. It's something I will definitely repurchase in the full size when I finish this. But this little guy has lasted me quite a long time. I think I'm down to like right here, but I am very happy I got to try this in my Ipsy bag. The last skin product that I have been using all month is from Neutrogena. It's the Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer for Night. Now when I got this back in February, I wasn't too impressed with it. I thought it did a good job, but I wasn't blown away. But using it in the summertime has just really changed my mind about it. I love the smell. It's very lightweight. It doesn't make me feel like my skin can't breathe, um, but it is also very moisturizing. So I really, really like this product, and I'm so happy that a vet from um, Beauty by Miss Outlaw introduced me to this product way back when. This lipstick I am wearing right now, it is in the color Samba, and to me, it just screams summer. Um, so I feel good wearing it, I don't know. It is just so beautiful and it can go on full-fledged in your face. But the way that I like to wear it on an everyday basis is just kind of like pat it on and then smear it out with my finger. Um, it gives a very light um, look and just some color that's beautiful but not too crazy. And it's not as high maintenance as if you were to put on a full coat where you have to keep checking in the mirror to make sure it hasn't, um, you know, worn off or anything like that. But yeah, I definitely want to try more of the Sephora lipsticks, but I don't need any lipsticks right now. But if I were to buy a lipstick, I would love to try that. I'm really into cream shadows this summer. Um, with the heat and the humidity, I want my eyeshadow to stay where it is, and I want something quick and easy, and this is where it's at. I think. I just did a get ready with me um, eye tutorial where right. I showed you how I like to use my different cream shadows. Um, in that tutorial I did drugstore only. But these are two of my favorite high-end ones. This one is from Mally. It is in the color Shadow Shimmer. Sh Saddle Shimmer? Yeah. I said it right. And then this one is from Aqua Eyes in the color 28E. Um, I like to wear these colors together, apart, whatever. Um, but the great part about the cream shadows is you can just put it on your lid and go, just one color, or you can put a darker color in the crease or whatever, whatever. Just um, check out my 
uh, get ready with me. If it's already up, I'll link it in the description bar below. If not, it's coming soon um, to see how I like to apply these type products. Now the foundations that I really, I mean, I just can't put this down. It's really just been all about the Mali foundation this month. I've done a video on it, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, but that was a first impressions video and I have been using it for weeks and weeks now and I love it just as much as I did when I gave my first impressions. I know people are having trouble finding this, um, but it should be out fairly soon. I don't know. I don't work for Mally, but it's supposed to come out sometime this fall. And this other product has been out for a while. It's the concealer that I used in that same video, which I will link in the description bar below. But I've never really been into yellow based concealers until I tried this one and this one is really really awesome. I love it. So these two have been winners for me this month. And I have been applying those. I like to apply it with the brush it came with but I also like to apply it with my beauty blender. This is actually a new beauty blender because I didn't want to show you my old one. But I mean I know they're dupes out there but I just I love the original. I actually got this one in a giveaway. I won my very first giveaway. It was from Kiana Denise's channel. and. I got the cleanser too and I never would have bought that cleanser if I hadn't won it in a giveaway. Um, I just would have used, you know, baby shampoo but that cleanser is really, really awesome and it makes cleaning these a lot easier. This product I wanted to share, I have to ask you guys about this, okay. So I'm having trouble with the new foundation by Bare Minerals, it's the liquid foundation. I've been in to get color matched three times and every time they color match me, they give me a different color. I mean, I don't change that much. Um, so I asked for a sample last time and it looked good in the store and I went in the car and it was so yellow. It looks so horrible. Um, and I don't know what my problem is. If you've tried this foundation, please put any kind of hints in the description bar below. I don't know, like, Usually I'm n not cool, but somebody said I was cool. Usually I'm kind of neutral. This one is yellow. And also it has like this oil, like it was sitting on my counter and when I picked it up there's like this oil around it um, that was very strange. I've never had a foundation like leak oil out. Um, everybody loves it though. So I don't want to hate on it. I just need some advice on color and if this is going to be good for my skin type, which I have combination oily to dry skin. So let me know what you think in the description bar below. Thank you so much for watching my favorites. I'd love to hear what your favorites are in the description bar below. And I can't wait to tell you about my trip to Florida with my girlfriends. I hear Everett is up, so I've got to go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.